The Vols are back on Rocky Top after a tough loss to Alabama. Boy, did they fight. But one moment from Saturday's game, a lot of folks talking about nationally as well, still sparking debate this morning. Head coach Jeremy Pruitt tugging on quarterback Jarrett Garantano's face mask after a critical fumble on the goal line. WBIR 10 News anchor Heather Wallach is in the newsroom this morning, tracking the reaction online, which is strong and fierce. Good morning. Yes, it is. Abby and Russell, good morning to you. College football fans across the country are split on this. Some people say Coach Pruitt went too far, while others say it's just part of coaching. It happened after a crucial play for Tennessee at the goal line. Garantano fumbles the ball on a quarterback sneak, and Alabama runs it back 100 yards for a touchdown. As the quarterback heads to the sideline, you can see Coach Pruitt pulling on his face mask. And after the play, several members of National College Football Media say Coach Pruitt crossed a line and coaches pulling on players' helmets in any way is unacceptable. But many ball fans came to Pruitt's defense saying the intensity is just part of the game. Lauren Lenore says everyone whining about Pruitt tugging on JG by the face mask needs to settle down. That fire and intensity is exactly what our program has been missing for over a decade. I can't speak for JG, but Coach Pruitt sure got my attention. And Brad Jones says it shows you how soft people have gotten over the years. How many times did a coach grab you by the face mask to make a point? I don't think there was any malicious intent with what Pruitt did to JG. It just happened. Now, this is not the first time a coach has been criticized for pulling on a player's face mask. You'll remember Jimbo Fisher got similar push back last year for grabbing the mask of one of his linebackers when the Aggies took on Arkansas. Fisher said he was just trying to get the players attention and respects those who disagreed with his actions. Now today coach Pruitt will hold his weekly press conference at noon where he could address this incident. Of course we will bring that to you live here on 10 news and in the WBIR app.